So the gospel this week is we have that long story of the death and resurrection of Lazarus. And I want to point this out. When Jesus arrives at Bethany, they all assume that he's arriving to simply go weep at the tomb of Lazarus. And even Mary came running out to greet the Lord, falls at his feet, and yells at him. Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. He becomes perturbed. He reminds her that he himself is the resurrection and the life. We human beings get so overwhelmed and caught up in a spirit of fear. If you really look at the way human beings act, much of it is dictated by what we're afraid of. And people are afraid of all kinds of things. The loss of job, the betrayal of a friend, the loss of a, of a loved one. We're afraid of hurricanes and storms and pandemics and plagues and viruses. We're afraid of corruption and moral greed. We're afraid of bad politicians. We're afraid of bad rulers and wars and bombs and, and, and dictators overseas. We're afraid of all these things. But really, when you boil it down, what is the one thing that we're truly afraid of? that all those other fears are captivated into. That one thing that we're actually afraid of is the loss of life. The fear of being alone, that's, that's, that's the loss of life. The fear of, of someone being corrupt and taking from me my livelihood, that's the fear of the loss of life. Illness, disease, famine, plague, it's all the fear of losing life. Because life is not a heartbeat or an electrical kind of current in my brain. Life is, is everything that it means to be a human being. And we're afraid of losing it. But that fear belongs nowhere near the Christian. How can you be afraid of death? And believe in the man who is the resurrection from the dead. How can you be a, a Christian, a follower of Jesus, and be afraid of death, which he destroyed, he conquered, he broke the grave open. And he hallowed the graves of all believers. Because we know that we will rise from our graves. Fear does not belong in the life of the Christian. Countless times in scriptures, what is the most repeated phrase? Do not be afraid. Be not afraid. I came to, to bring peace. Do not be afraid. Be not afraid. Over and over and over again. Throughout the Old Testament and the Gospels and the New Testament. Be not afraid. Because we know that there is a resurrection from the dead. I think the reason that fear can, can wrap us and hold us so tightly is because we're overattached to the, the, the physical world. We're overly attached to power, pleasure, and glory. We're overly attached to what the world is offering us. And we see that the world is, is quickly fading away. We see that power, wealth, money, prestige, honor, glory, power, all of it can be gone in an instant. But the one thing that's eternal is my relationship with the Lord Jesus. And that's where I find my everlasting life. Why does Jesus get perturbed with Mary? Because she doesn't believe him, that he is the resurrection. Why is it that we're afraid? because we're too attached to the world to hear him when he says, I am the resurrection. Why is it that the church gives us these three pillars of Lent? To pray, to fast, and to give alms? To reorder our lives. To put us back in proper harmony. To get rid of our disordered attraction to sin. 
to pray, to fast, to give alms, is to seek freedom from fear. How do I be not afraid? I practice my faith. I pray, I fast, I give alms.